Namaste everyone. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how to get rid of a bad habit. So this is this was basically an inspiration by watching Jay Shetty's video and also reading his um, Think Like a Monk book. And then I also went for a yoga retreat recently where I also learned about um, breaking habits as well or creating a new one. So I thought I'll put those together and kind of um, share the knowledge with you because I'm, I'm sure most of us are always trying to have at least we have one bad habit that we are trying to get rid of um, so so hopefully this video will be helpful for you. my name is Priya I'm very passionate about sharing positivity and empowering others to live their life to their fullest potential we are all creators we are divine being we have the capability to create our life the way we want it so let's make it beautiful together so let's dive in so today's habit, it's something that I'm still working on. So I can't say, hey, I did this and it worked for me. But I can definitely assure you that it will work. It's just it also requires a lot of work on our end. Um, so I'm going to be working on it. And hopefully in uh, maybe in a year, I can tell you that it worked and um, I was successful. Um, so I'm sharing this with you so I can be accountable for it. So keep me accountable, okay? Um, and if you have any other experiences also um, put that in the comments below and share your experiences as well as we can all learn from each other so let's dive in so basically Jay Shetty talks about monk mind versus the, um, the monkey mind the monkey mind is where it's usually you know jumping around always wanting different things and you know unsure about things unclear about things versus monk mind is very focused you know exactly what you want you have your reasons behind them and it, it's very clear goal oriented very um solution uh, oriented and it's based on the it looks at the root cause basically versus mon monkey mind is basically it it's it kind of evolves around our senses so we have our five senses right so when we when we um when our senses, when we receive the information, it triggers triggers memory in our in our mind, and that mind kind of brings back to our old habit that we're so used to doing. Habit is basically just whatever actions you are doing on a routine, on a daily basis, in a in a repetition where you you can do it without even thinking about it because it became a habit. Um, but at the end of the day, if you think about it things that you're not doing and that's what I learned um, recently in the retreat that is that the things that you're not doing is also a habit because it, it's an action that you're doing continuously so let's say if I'm not exercising on a daily basis me not exercising is a habit is a habit that I created it's obviously not a good habit but it's a it's a habit it's also me not um, resisting um, sweets when it comes in front of me it is a habit because every time I see it I want it and what happens is that our monkey mind gets in but it, because as soon as I see it or smell it or even think about it, whatever senses I'm using, um, when it triggers a good memory, um, it makes you do that habit that you're, you know, you, that you do. And if you, if it's something that's unhealthy, then you want to get rid of, obviously. So for me personally, I have a sweet tooth. So people who knows me knows that I've been always loving sweets and you know I go through like five months of not eating um, sweets because I'm like telling myself I want to be healthy and then after that I'm like you know getting off the wagon again and then coming back again um, so for me that's definitely a bad habit that I want to get rid of so in a year I hope I can tell you um, keep me accountable that I got rid of this bad habit and created a new one where I can I can resist my urges um, uh, for the sweet and that's what basically habits are when when these five senses um you know brings or triggers a memory then your monkey mind goes wild and it it, it tells you to um you know you want to feel that good you want to feel that um that that good memory that tr got triggered you want to feel that again and then you end up doing that again and then it, it becomes a habit where you don't even actually have to think about it everything happens in a micro microseconds whatever you call it um, but if you want to get rid of it, you need to make sure your, your monk mind is in between your senses and your monkey mind. Anytime your monkey, anytime there is your, you have those five senses that are triggering any memories, then your monk mind needs to be focused and it needs to stand in between the monkey mind and say, no, this is why you need to be, you know, you can't do this. You can't do this old habit anymore. And then you end up creating a new habit 
when you create a new habit, you can focus on that and um, follow through that as your new new good habit. Um, because um, anything you do repetitively, um, any action you do repetitively becomes that habit. So what can you do to make sure your guard stays up? Because basically when you're bad, when you are so into your bad habits, our guard as the monk mind is not standing up for us because we kind of quieted it down where, you know, the senses are triggered and the monkey mind goes off. Um, so we need to put that monk uh, mind there. And Jay Shetty basically said there are five R's that you can follow to make sure that monk mind stands up and um, protects us. And, and therefore you can kind of protect us and stands in between the monkey mind versus the, um, between the monkey mind and the sense of five senses. So what the five parts I wanted to talk about, the first one he mentioned is reason. You need to have a good deep reason why the why behind the change that you need. So if you want to create a good habit of um, going to the gym every day or exercising every day or you want to start eating healthy, whatever the habit is, you need to know the exact reason why. And it has to be very meaningful to you. It shouldn't be something negative like revenge because um, that's not going to take you anywhere good. So make sure it's very meaningful for you. Um, it could be either for yourself where you feel good in your own skin, you feel like yourself again, or um, you know um, because you want to you wanna connect to your own identity instead of like being someone else. Um, or, or it could be for your family member. You want to be there, live there longer for your family um, to serve others. Um, whatever, whatever your reason is, make sure it's very meaningful to you, and you know what it is, um, and you know why the change, uh, why you want the change. That's number one. Number two is research. So once you know your reasoning, make sure you research on what you need to do um, and all about it to um, make sure. You're very strong about transforming your life. Because the more information you observe, basically, the more um, it's easier to transform the new change that you want in your life. And the ways that you can do that is talk to people who have mastered it already. Um, so you can either directly talk to them, talk to a coach or a mentor or a friend who has done it already. Or you can also listen to um, podcasts and then also read books, read articles. There are, there's so much information online that you can read these days. Um, watch videos of others who have succeeded in whatever you want um, as well. So make sure you have all the knowledge, all the information you need to make that change happen to you. Once you do that, the third one is repetition. Repetition is important and it has to be a priority basically. So so one thing um, Jay Shetty mentioned, and I agree with him 100% because I do this sometimes where I'm like, I want change and I want that I, I try to change everything around me. So I want to I want to eat healthy. I want to exercise. I want to do this. I want to do that. I add all this together and I try to do all of them. And what happens? You quit um, in one week, maximum one month you're quitting. So instead of doing that, focus on one thing that you can change. It could be exercise or whatever it is. The one thing that it's really important, prioritize it and only focus on that. So once you prioritize that, just repeat it every single day like a mantra. Like you just keep doing that action until it forms a new habit. Um, so and, 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 the, and the way you can do that is to keep reminding yourself of the reason and, and obviously the research that you have done as well. And, and therefore then you can, um, you're able to repeat it. The fourth one is responsibility. Responsibility comes with accountability as well. And basically that's when you have a sense, um, it's better when you can, you can commit to something when you have like a, um, a community or a tribe that, that has the same passion as you or, or doing the same thing as you. Um, you know, so if you go to the gym or if you go to a community center where people are doing the activities that you want to do or, or you can join like some sort of online groups or some sort of platform where people are journaling or blogging about the things that they're doing. Um, a lot of people do that in Instagram these days where they, you know, take pictures of what they eat and they post it or even YouTube. So whatever, whatever helps you. And if you don't want to go um, on social media and that's okay, you can use your family or friends. Um, to to create that circle for you, right? Um, um, create yourself that circle. Um, so so whatever works for you, keep yourself accountable. Be responsible about it. 
and the fifth one is rewarding yourself um, at the end of the day we we all are we all like rewards and sometimes we tend to look forward and think about oh we have only reached this much we still have this much to go um, and this happens a lot with weight loss where people are like oh I'm only lost 20 but I still have like 40 more to go and it looks like a lot but think about reflect on the journey and reflect on how far you have come and, and appreciate it because that's more important than anything and enjoy the journey than just looking at the end result because habit is not going to end right there you're going to continue this you're going to maintain this and um, whatever uh, positive habit you created it's going to stick with you so it's not something where you just do it once and then you leave it and that's why most things don't work because people tend to look at it as a short term but this if you're creating a habit for you a new habit for you then it's a long term it's going to stick with you it's a lifestyle change um, so think about that uh, hopefully this video was helpful for you if it was share this with people um, click the uh, thumbs uh, thumbs up button and then also please leave comments below um, share your knowledge and experiences if you have already overcome um, or created a new habit for yourself and how you did it um, because then we can all learn from each other as well and also if you're new to my channel please subscribe and click the notification button I'm determined to creating weekly videos for you guys to empower you to live the best version of you so until then, namaste.